plant closed data. One of the few references to pre-war or to Dali is that rectangle cut out of his back at Pierce Realism. You'll see it down the gallery in Meeting of Furniture. There's also a Venus here done in Cubism, a reference to his experiments in Cubism, which you can see over there. And here is his signature, Salvador Dali. So what else? So, there's a, so we've got these Venuses. People encountered all of them, about 33 of them. I was doing a tour one time and I just spotted that one. <laughs> what a surprise. Anyone? So if there's a blood fiber, there must be a bull. Does it help you? How, help us find the bull. Where do you see the bull? Okay, you see the lion in the eye and the horns, not the lion doing it, that's something else. Here are the spears and here are these things. What the heck are those things? Well, people ask, how do we know all this? Dali wrote a lot, he talked a lot, he talked a lot with Mr. and Mrs. Morris, who owned all the two of these paintings at one time. We don't know for sure. I have some guesses. One is that's the pain where the spears are going into the back of the bull, the hump of the bull. Another is it may be Dali's nod to pop art. He hated abstract art, but he thought pop art was pretty cool. It was where Lichtenstein, one of his fabulous Oh, Brad, women, uh, in which he takes them comic books and puts them in museums as if to say, the Renaissance gave us the Sistine Chapel. Impressionism gave us the beauty of life. 20th century America. Oh, Brad. <laughs> and um, by the way, if, if, you're, if you're having a hard time seeing it, there's Dali's preliminary sketch. Okay, is there anyone who hasn't seen the face? I'm sorry, I'm falling down on the job here. Okay, you see that? Okay, now, so we've got the bowl, 